In this video, I will show you how to enable the option for your visitors to subscribe via Facebook. This is my GetResponse account. I will create a web form very quick. You will see there is a button here subscription via Facebook. The option is currently set to off. I click on on and click next step. This is where you get the code. I copy this code and save to a text file. Now we will need to create another web form with the same list to get the HTML autoresponder code. We will need two codes to make this work. I create another web form with the same settings as the previous one. This time I leave this option off. Now you will see there is an option here show HTML code. I click here. I select all and copy it. I save the code to a text file and I click on code. First of all, I click on email to paste the HTML code here. and paste it here then I click outside you will see the form is now updated now I will copy the Facebook integration code and I go to here I click on code click on Facebook you see a box appears and I paste the Facebook autoresponder here paste and I click outside now it's done I can save the page and publish I click on publish now we will view the page I click on view and because I'm not currently logging to Facebook the Facebook button will not be shown now I will log into my Facebook account Now I refresh the page and you could see the Facebook button appears here. And if I click on this button, you will see the subscribe via Facebook option is displayed. If the user doesn't want to use this option, they can click close here and continue with the traditional form.